today I would like to introduce some Florida seashells to you. And with this introduction, I'm going to explain the difference between a univalve shell and a bivalve shell. A univalve shell is a shell that is just a single shell. A bivalve shell are two shells that are hinged together. I'm going to start with the Florida horse cock. This is the Florida state shell, and as you can see, it can become very large, or it can be very small. It is a brilliant orange with a bright white tip. This shell is a univalve. As you can see, it is just one shell. The next shell I'm going to introduce is a whelk shell. Whelks are known as a lightning whelk, and as you can see on this shell, the different little streaks resemble lightning. This shell also can be very small or can be very, very large. And this is a prime example of one of the larger ones. When you're walking the beach, you may notice these egg casings on the sand. This is how the whelks reproduce, and inside each little packet are baby whelks waiting to come out and start their lives as new little shells. The next shell I'm going to introduce is a calico shell. The calico shell is a bivalve. Before we talked about the univalves with the whelk and the horse cock. The cockle is a bivalve. It is two shells that are hinged together. The cockle is also known as the heart shell. As you can see, it resembles a heart when you have the two of them together. Once again, this can be small or rather large. Large ones are used as containers. They can be a pretty little soap dish or anything else you may wish to use them as. The next shell I'm going to introduce is a lion's paw. Lion's paws also are bivalves, and this is an excellent example. You can see the two shells and where they're hinged together. Lion's paws belong to the scallop family. Scallops are what most of us collect when we go to the beach because of their color. And these are some examples of some of the scallops you may find on the beach. Another time you may find scallops is on the menu in a restaurant because scallops are edible. The last shell I'm going to introduce is the Dare Atlantic Spotted Cowrie. You can see that it does have the spots on it, thus getting its name. And once again, this shell is a univalve. It is just a single shell. This is another example of a cowrie. Difference in color, different in size, but once again, a univalve. That concludes my presentation on univalves versus bivalves. Thank you.